Hello everyone, it is Carrie Bradford and in today's tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can just make a really fun accent by just taking a few little lines along with your favorite letter or numbers and turn it into just to a really great accent for a page. So let's start off by grabbing our rectangle tool and I'm just going to go ahead and just draw a rectangle across the way here and then I'm going to make it a certain size. I want to make it 12 inches wide by 0.125 inches tall. So that is an eighth of an inch tall. And then I'm just going to click apply. Now I want to copy that two more times. So I'm going to press Ctrl or Command C for copy, Ctrl or Command F to paste it right on top of itself. And as you can see, it increased in color. So you know there's a second one there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and press my shift and down arrow key so that I see that and I'm going to press Ctrl or Command F to give me one more and I'm just going to maybe move it so that I have the three there. I'm going to select them all, come to our line and we want to space them vertically. And let's just zoom in and make sure what we've got here. Hmm. Maybe I might want them a little bit closer together so I'm just going to use my up arrow. I did it three times that way and I'll do it three times that way. So that kind of gives them a nice unified look. They're not too spaced apart so that when we add our letter, then it just looks really nice. All right, let's go ahead and grab our text tool. And I'm just going to use a simple Arial Black font. Arial Black. And I'm going to type my letter, which it would be K. And I'm going to size it up so that it fits probably about like so. Now what I want to do next is I want to create an outline for this K and I don't just want to simply just create an offset so that it just mats on the outside. I like to create my outlines where I have an even outside line and an even inside line and then I end up getting rid of what the original is. This way it kind of gives it more of a, a consistent look. You don't get too many flat lines on the inside or outside or corners that are funky. If you give it an even offset both outside and inside your letter then it kind of gives it a really nice look. So let's just go ahead and zoom in on this. And now I'm going to go ahead and come up to the offset window. And then I'm going to do an offset. And I am going to make it 0.06 inches. Put it on corner and then say apply. Now we want to grab the original letter again do an internal offset and make that 0.06 again. So again, it's an even increment for the outside and an even increment for the inside. And then make sure that we are on corner and then say apply. And then let's go ahead and get rid of that internal K and press delete. So now we are left with a really nice looking letter and the offset is about the same as this. So we did it, the, our offsets were 0.06 for both sides. So total together that's 0.12 inches and this right here is 0.125 so you're pretty much spot on all around. All right now we want to go ahead and convert this into a compound path and the reason for that is is that we need to tell Silhouette Studio that this inside piece is an actual hole so that when we choose weld it will know that this is actually a hole and not two K's sitting on top of each other. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click and choose make compound path. All right, now I just want to make sure that my K is lined up about right where I want it. Just kind of looking at the lines here and here. And of course, you're going to have a different letter or a different number that you're going to want to put in here. And uh, mine is, I like where mine is positioned kind of in the center, but it does have a little bit more up top because of the K. But I also kind of just like the way it looks within here. Okay. There's generally more than one way to do something, but this is the way that I found that is easiest for everyone just to be able to do really quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Come to my knife tool, and I'm going to slice this down and essentially cut the, these lines and so that they are into two different pieces. And I'm going to hold down my shift key as I click my mouse and drag down, and you can see it creates a nice straight line. And I lift up on my mouse, and you can see that it has cut those lines in half. And now, because all my lines are 
within my K, I can just go ahead and just take the knife tool and cut it here and here, and then we can get rid of this intersection. If your lines exceed or are on the outside of your letter, you're going to need to create cut lines to get rid of anything that will appear on the outside if you want them gone. You don't have to have them gone, but if you did want them gone, you could go ahead and do that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and select these, delete them, grab all of this, and I'm going to weld it together. As long as my lines are overlapping here, this is gonna weld just nicely together. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and choose weld. And now you can see we have this really nice looking K. If we fill it with color, come over here and fill it with orange and just for fun I can turn off the line color and you can see just how great that is going to be as an accent on your page and this works really great with a letter or you could do a word if you wanted or numbers like this one whatever the case may be it's just something really fun and simple and a fun little element to add to your page just by taking a few little lines and a letter or the numbers and just bringing them together like this all right Thanks so much for stopping by.